Welcome to Data Drivers. I'm your host, Andrew Smith of Think Uncommon. In this series, we examine how retailers are winning by developing an informed relationship with their customers, better understanding what their customers want, and using data and analytics to deliver increased sales. In this episode, discover how businesses harness diverse data sources to craft a holistic view of their operations, customer journeys, and market trends. We'll unveil the pivotal role that data plays in connecting these dots, offering retailers a comprehensive understanding of their business and helping form a unified strategy for success. So join us as we take a deep dive into the world of retail analytics and discover how it's helping retailers to stay ahead of the game in today's ever-changing marketplace. Customers really are expecting that you're going to know them and provide them a seamless experience across all channels. And so the only way to do that is to focus on that data collection to build that 360 degree view of the customer in order to provide those insights both internally and deliver the right customer experience externally. Back in the day, we had very manual processes. I can remember early in my retail career, standing at the front of the store with a little manual counter, counting how many people came into the store. And then a little later on, when we got more technology, a third party company installed some cameras over the entrance of the store to count the people. All of that was trying to get us to our conversion rate, how many people came into the store and actually made purchase. Data gathering and insights has evolved from manual batch to automated and event-based, dynamic updating between systems and records. So that's number one. Number two is the data insights methods include the trusty spreadsheets to purpose-built analytic platforms and delivering the insights to other systems like a CRM or a customer service system or even a customer data platform. So it's very dynamic. Number three is the technology evolution is really what's driving all of this capability. It's enabled dynamic access um, to the data and insights with greater possibilities. The cloud infrastructure as services is an underlying enabler of all of this and APIs and connectors between platforms and applications and files speeds the movement of data and actionability of that data. So to me, it's about unified commerce. And the unified commerce model is about unifying your data, unifying your technology, unifying your consumer facing habitats, and unifying your supply chain, which should result in unifying your PL. So it's in that unified commerce paradigm that we think about how do you better unify your data. I'd say the evolution of really customer loyalty programs was the biggest change in getting more access to customer data. So if you think about it, these programs allow retailers to be able to track what you and I purchase every day. And before that, you didn't have that visibility, you just knew somebody bought the product. Um, and then the second part, which came about the same time in the early 2000s, was when cookies became popular, businesses were tracking everything that a customer did on their website. So when we start to then transition and think about where are we headed, right? Expectations are continuing to rise. So as retailers, you know, they need to continue to have this customer centric mindset. Look to integrate these systems to provide that omni-channel experience to their customers and find the best ways to leverage AI to help analyze that data to drive improvements, both internally and with your customers, right? So adding in the automation with AI, as well as other tools can help provide strong ROI possibilities and results for them moving forward. Today, companies implement customer data platforms and journey orchestration tools to form an accurate understanding of a given browser, shopper, or customer, and to be able to deliver relevant experiences, offers, and call to actions that leads to a conversion. When it comes to data, you say, how many appropriate data input channels can I create? And then what is the system I use to unify that, unify data within unified commerce, and use that to learn not just about bottom of the funnel where you finally sold something, but how is that data being used to think about research and development, product development, manufacturing, supply chain, marketing, logistics, reverse logistics. So that data 
should be applied to every aspect. A unified data strategy includes the gathering, the integrating, the organizing, analysis, maintenance of that data. So when you start to think about a holistic data approach, it takes time and it is not something that can just happen overnight. Think about all of the data sources that we have today in retail. There really is no good framework that everybody works from. The way they do it at company A is totally different from the way they do it at company B. And even if you move working from company A to company B, you have to totally relearn their data schema, even if you understand the industry data that's being used. Are they their own fields? Are they concatenated with the item ID? Or worse yet, do they have intelligent numbering system in place? Bad. If you think about how important is the process of actually receiving your package, the box that comes in, the accoutrements that are in it, the moment of I've got my package and I'm opening it at home, to me is as important as the product development part. And so I think taking that data and feeding it in from these sources to your entire enterprise rather than functionally specific areas of the enterprise is where you can really unify data in a unified commerce paradigm. Without that unified strategy, it really becomes a challenge. Recently, you can refer to a study that was done by the WCC that found large organizations actually have store contract-related data in 24 different systems within their organization. So if you think about that, how would you even be able to manage your day-to-day -day if you had to go to 24 different systems? First of all, you probably don't have access to them, and second, you probably don't even know they exist. So it's important as you think about taking the time to do the proper planning up front and develop that strategy. And so you need to think about things like identifying the data sources. What's the level of difficulty in being able to bring that information together? What does that standard you know, data set look like? Be clear about the roles as well. Who needs to access that data? What departments need to know and, and how do they plan to use the data? And look for the opportunities to leverage AI as well. Look for those opportunities to streamline or simplify current you know, manual tasks that you might have today. Thank you for joining me as we connected the dots from this diverse web of data sources. In our next episode, we'll uncover the impact of new and diversified channels on the customer journey. To learn more about the Retail Cloud Alliance, don't forget to click the link below and subscribe to our channel so you're first in line to watch the latest episodes. I'm your host, Andrew Smith of Think Uncommon. See you next time.